The state of Florida added two new college football head coaches to the Sunshine State. Mario Christian Ball returned home to his alma mater, the Miami Hurricanes, and Billy Napier was hired by the Florida Gators after having a successful run with Louisiana Lafayette. Now, I expect both of these two coaches to do big things with their respective programs and bring the state of Florida back to relevancy because everybody always asks, you know, like, how can we get different teams in the college football playoffs? How can we get different matchups other than seeing Georgia and Alabama? Well, the key to that is the state of Florida because all of those national championship teams, a good amount of their roster is comprised of players from this state. So if we're going to find ways to create different teams being into the college football playoffs and whatnot outside of expanding the playoffs, the teams in Florida have to step their game up, and Florida and Miami both did that with bringing in big-name hires. So, who's going to have more success year one between these two coaches, Mario Cristobal with Miami or Billy Napier with Florida? I'm going to have to go with Mario Cristobal for several reasons. First of all, Mario Cristobal is taking over a way better roster with the Hurricanes than what Billy Napier is getting with the Florida Gators. And I'm not saying that the Florida Gators have one of the worst rosters in all the college football. As a matter of fact, I think that their roster should be pretty decent. However, I feel like a large reason for the Gators' success is going to be behind the arm of AR-15, Anthony Richardson. Meanwhile, although you probably could say the same thing for the Miami Hurricanes, Tyler Van Dyke was the best quarterback or one of the best up-and-coming quarterbacks in all in college football last season. However, there's still a lot of talent around him. You have James Williams, who has a five-star safety he has a lot of high expectations going into this season. Like, there were a lot of talented players on this Miami Hurricanes team. And on top of that, Miami has also been really active in the transfer portal this offseason. They rank 8th in the transfer portal rankings versus Florida, who currently ranks 33rd in transfer portal rankings. On top of that... Miami has one of the best coaching staffs in all of college football. You have offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis, who was the Boros Award winner, which is awarded to the best assistant coach in all of college football. Let's not forget what Michigan did last season. Like, they kind of surprised everybody making it to the college football playoffs, beating their rival Ohio State. And it was a really fantastic season. And it was really shocking to see Josh Gaddis lead leave Michigan like I couldn't even believe it when I saw the news pop up that he was going to be joining Mario Cristobal staff in Miami then you bring in defensive coordinator Kevin Steele one of the best defensive coordinators in the nation like this coaching staff for Miami is fantastic now Florida also has a pretty good coaching staff as well especially when it comes to recruiting like the recruit like the guys who are going to be recruiting for Florida Oh my goodness, absolutely fantastic. But our offensive coordinator is going to be Rob Sell, and our defensive coordinator is going to be Patrick Tony. Now, on top of that, Miami has a easier schedule and a way easier conference to navigate compared to Florida. Because Florida's playing in the SEC. They have to play Georgia who is expected to be one of the best teams in all of college football. They are the defending national champions. On top of that, the SEC East is going to be incredibly crowded this year. Tennessee could be really good. We already know Kentucky is going to be in the mix. We already know about Georgia. But what about South Carolina? That's a team that a lot of people are kind of sleeping on that's going under the radar going into this upcoming college football season. Meanwhile, you look at the ACC Coastal, like, I mean, you don't really know what you're going to get. The ACC has been down as a whole for over the last couple of years. So for Miami, this is the prime opportunity for them to take advantage of that and maybe make it to the ACC championship game. But when it comes to year one success, I don't really think there's going to be a lot of arguments made against why Mario Christian Ball should have a more successful season then Billy Napier, because Billy Napier kind of 
you know, like the expectations for both of these two coaches this season are way different. For Billy Napier, it's kind of a rebuilding year. This is something that's going to be like a two, three year, maybe four year process where the Florida Gators football program is going to have to be rebuilt from the ground up. You're going to have to make up for the lackluster recruiting that Dan Mullen did his tenure there in Florida. You know, he was a great exit and nose coach, but the downfall is the fact that he wasn't that great when it came to recruiting. And if you're going to be able to compete in the SEC, you have to be able to recruit at a very high level. So for Florida right now, like their roster just doesn't look to be on par compared to Miami's roster. Miami should at least win nine to 10 games. For Florida, they could win seven, eight games. Maybe they surprise everybody and win nine games, but I think it would be more realistic seeing them between the seven and eight win realm versus Miami. I think they can win anything between 10 or nine games. That's my expectation. So you look at the fact that Miami's coaching staff is one of the best in college football. They also have a better roster than Florida on top of that they're in a easier conference with a easier schedule than what Florida has I think that Mario Christian Ball is going to have more success year one but you guys let me know who you guys think is going to be more successful in their first year with their new college program down in the comment section down below